I'm best-selling author John M. Davis, and this is Prepper Nation. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about food, uh, which is probably the number one question that most preppers get, myself included. What kind of food should you be prepping? Before we go there, uh, I want to say thank you. A lot of new faces, a lot of new, a lot of new subscribers here on Prepper Nation. We're just getting started. I've been podcasting for several years, but this particular podcast is just getting started. So I want to welcome everybody. Um, and let me just say this: some of you out there are not preppers. Maybe you're just interested in the idea of prepping, especially with the COVID going around, or maybe you're just getting started. Um, A lot of preppers are saying that it's too late. I don't think it's too late, but I think that you're going to need to double time it from here on out. I believe, truly believe, we're probably about five weeks out from a shift um, situation. Just bad times. We're about five weeks out. Um, so anyway, if you would like to support this podcast, uh, it's very simple. You can, drum roll please, you can buy me a coffee via PayPal. The link is down below. Just kick a few dollars over my way if you want to support the podcast. You, you're you not required to, of course. But if you want to help a brother out, I am a full-time author and a full-time college student with tons of student loans. Plus, I like to drink coffee. Um, (laughs) if you donate via PayPal, uh, over on paypal.com, when you do the donate, there is a comment section, leave your name so I can give you a shout out here on the podcast. And I would also like to say welcome to all of you who are listening to the audio podcast. We're all over the place. We're on, uh, Google podcasts, we're on, um, Apple podcasts, etc. We're everywhere, son. Uh, and I invite you to find us here on the pot, you know, here on YouTube. Just uh, hashtag Prepper Nation over on YouTube, and you can find us. All right, let's get to the food. That's why you guys are here, right? You are hungry. You want to know what? What do you need to prep? What do you need to prep for you, your spouse, maybe a family of four, maybe a family of eight? Okay, the here's the deal. You want to have enough food, bare minimum, for three months. This is going to get you through, I think right now they they just had a hurricane in North Carolina. Last I heard there's like four and a half million people without power. Which isn't a huge deal, but if these people are prepared, if they have three months worth of supplies on hand, and they know how to um, live off the grid, so to speak, they're in a lot better shape. So, three months is going to get you through most events, unless we are talking about, uh, you know, just an apocalyptic style event. You know, we're talking about a world war where the U.S., I'm here in the United States for the international folks, uh, you know, if we were to be invaded, or if there's a civil war, or just widespread martial law, something like that, um, you're going to want more than three months. Most serious preppers have about a year's worth of supplies on hand. Now, you don't have to come out of the gates and buy up a year's worth of food. But I strongly, strongly encourage you, especially if you're new to prepping and you're double-timing it, remember, uh, to rush out and get about three months. You want to be stacked up. Now, this is three months worth of supplies for every person in your family and I live by the rule of five and I'm going to explain that to you before I do let me just say this preppers go down a list of things in order this needs to be followed in order uh, that you're going to need for long-term survival you're going to need food that's obvious right you're going to need water which means you're going to need Water on hand, and you're going to need a catchment and purification system. We'll cover that in another video down the road somewhere. You're going to need shelter. Another given. 
You're going to need clothing. You're going to need medicine. You're going to need means of self-protection, which means a firearm of some type. And you're going to need barter items. I call them barter items. Each prepping channel here on YouTube or wherever you're picking us up, SiriusXM, wherever, each prepping channel, each prepper, each host has a um, unique approach. You're going to get a hold of some guys who are ex, you know, special forces, and they can teach you how to, you know, properly secure your home, right? And you're going to get a hold of some guys who, or, or some gals who live basically uh, out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we're talking homestead life. For me personally, I'm a military historian. That's what I'm in college for. And I'm almost finished, so I'm able to history circular. So I'm able to see what's going on, see the parallels from the past, and kind of uh, see what's coming next. You know, I'm not a fortune teller, but I'm basing this off of there are many parallels between what's happening now and what happened with the um, invention, I guess, of the Soviet Union back in the early 1900s and also the um, revolution in France. Uh, so if you guys have time, follow different preppers, get a lot of perspective from a lot of different people. I'll actually do a video at some point and give a shout out to my favorite four or five. So let's get to the food, the rule of five. Okay, number one, and I've got this, I brought visual aids, folks. Yeah. Emergency food. Now this is Augustin Farms. This is a 48 hour kit for a family of four. And I don't even remember what is included here. Let me see here. I see pancakes. I'm seeing uh, macaroni and cheese. Um, oatmeal, things like that. Freeze dried. This has a 50 year shelf life. Most survival food, you're going to get 35 to 50 years um, shelf life. Now, 48 hours is not going to get us, but through a couple of days. And you don't want to stockpile up a year's worth of uh, this for a couple of reasons. Number one, the cost alone would be enough to buy a second home. This stuff, you know, not that cheap to stockpile. Um, I'll leave a link down below. The 48-hour kits aren't that bad. They're, you know, 25 bucks, I think. But again, if, you know, what I'm saying, 365 days, it's just not budget-friendly. And the other thing is, who wants to eat oatmeal and mashed potatoes for... 365 days in a row, right? You want to mix it up, which is why I have the rule of five. You want to have the emergency food on hand. The smaller containers are for bugging out. It gets really bad. You can pick a few of these up, throw them in your trunk, and you're good to go for, you know, a week or two out in the middle of nowhere, right? To escape danger. Um, fight or flight. If it comes down to flight, and you have a family, these come in handy. Okay. Number two, dry bagged. Uh, I call it dry bagged, but this is going to be several different items. You can pick all this stuff up at your local grocery store, Walmart, Target, Kroger, whatever. Um, this is pinto beans. This is a one pound bag. Now, uh, you're going to want a lot of beans. You're going to want a lot of bagged dry rice, and you're going to want a lot of bagged dry pastas, right? So it's all cheap. The bigger the bag, the better. I brought the one pound just because I didn't want a 10 pound sitting on my desk for the podcast, but you can mix it up. You know, you can uh, stockpile 10 pound bags. It's what most preppers do. Or you can stockpile, you know, 10 one-pound bags and just mix up the variety of beans and things. Um, 
the way that I store this, a lot of preppers will try and sell you Mylar bags, which are very effective, but they're also costly. If you're just getting into it, folks, which is what this podcast is about, prepping on the cheap, you're going to get five gallon buckets, okay, from your local Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Target, etc. And you're just going to jam pack. I have an entire wall with buckets stacked up, right? So you're going to do, let's say, two or three buckets, and you're just going to fill them with pounds and pounds and pounds of dry beans. They're airtight, so once you uh, put the lid on, it's airtight, and then you're going to take some duct tape or something similar, and you're just going to tape the edge, and that's going to give you a perfectly airtight um, seal on the cheap. And these have uh, shelf life of around two years. They're going to last longer than that, as long as you keep them uh, away from you know damp areas and things, which is why you want to double seal the um, containers. All right, number three on the list, and this is huge, canned foods. All right, most canned foods have a two-year shelf life. This is Denny Moore beef stew, which is awesome. Most canned foods have a two-year shelf life. However, you can eat them 15 years, 20 years, 50 years past the date as long as the can is not expanding. Now, if the can is expanding, it's dented up, it looks damaged, toss it. If it looks to be in great shape, open it, give it a smell test, to make sure it doesn't smell funny and of course cook the contents but yeah you can live on that now what I do with canned uh, goods and you want a huge stockpile of canned goods because they are cheap and again they last a very long time they're very cost effective as opposed to the emergency um, freeze-dried foods right so we split them up here at the Ponderosa into three categories. We have these huge warehouse shelves in the prepping area of the house. And we do uh, canned fruits, we do canned vegetables, and we do canned meats. These are the three that you need to focus on because you're going to need fruits, you're going to need vegetables, and of course you're going to need meats. Um, and just get a variety, guys. Like I said, you know, you can pick up... The one I brought for like a dollar twenty-five, but this, you know, theoretically, in a shift situation, this is a meal for two, for dollar twenty-five. So it's a lot cheaper than just um, buying a year's worth of uh, emergency food for each person in the family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, number four on the list, I call it big bulks, and if you have a Sam's Club membership. Uh, use it for the big bulks. If you don't, you can still find some of this stuff at your local grocery store. This actually came from, we have a Sam's Club membership, but this came from Walmart. It was eight bucks and it makes 260 pancakes and it has a shelf life of two years. So this, let me see if I can get them both up here at one time. So we can make sense of all this here. It's all about prepping on the cheap. This $8 uh, bag of pancakes is going to last twice as long. It's going to yield twice as much as this, which cost $25. So it is very cost effective to buy in bulk. And not uh, not just pancake mix. I'm talking about um, anything that you can get in bulk. This just happens to be pancakes. But um, peanut butter is also huge with preppers uh, because of, the, again, the shelf life, which is roughly, depending on the brand, two years or longer. And you can also get the powdered peanut butter, but it is much more expensive. Just to get like a um, a five pound tub of you know store brand peanut butter, that's going to provide a lot of protein. You know what I'm saying? And it's cheap. You know you can pick it up for ten bucks, 
And so you want to buy the big bulks, um, Gatorade mixes, things like that. Um, and then finally, number five is, is the category that I call extra credit. I brought this <laughs> as the example, which is hot sauce. But the extra credit stuff is, for the most part, not stuff that's going to help you in a life or death situation. But it's going to make, it's going to tie everything together and it's going to make eating what you have uh, food stores wise much more manageable. Um, and some of the stuff here that, that we're talking about, it's going to be honey, which has an indefinite shelf life. Never runs out. Honey will crystallize. You can melt it back down. It's good to go. And it's going to give you a lot of carbohydrates. Uh, soy sauce for all the rice that you happen to bring, right? That you're packing. Sugars and salts. You're going to want this stuff. Salt is not ever going to run out. Sugar has a pretty long shelf life. Uh, spices. Things like hot sauce and, and the peppered in spices. Um, pasta sauces. You can get this stuff in jars. If you find a great deal, get it in the jar. Otherwise, get it in the can. It will last much longer. And it's going to go with, of course, the dry pastas. Um, Freeze-dried fruits and vegetables. This stuff can be hard to catch on sale, but when you catch it, buy a bunch of it up. Because it lasts a very long time. And it's going to, again, help pull things together. So instead of eating... Folks, instead of eating... You know, paying thousands upon thousands of dollars for, uh, you know, freeze-dried macaroni and cheese and oatmeal every single day for an entire year. You know what I'm saying? You can uh, focus on your canned foods like your Chef Boardies and your beef stews and your fruits and your veggies and your beans and your rice and your pastas, right? You can tie everything together. Instead of spending thousands, you could... Theoretically, for a family of four, prep away. If you're smart about it, you can prep for a family of four for an entire year for, I would say, roughly $1,000. You may go over the $1,000 mark depending on how much emergency food you want to keep on hand. Um, but anyway, that is the staples of, uh, you know, that's what preppers chase in terms of food. We're big on canned food. And, and again, this can be anything from your meats. You want corned beef. You want Spam. You want Vienna sausage. It's not everybody's favorite. But in a shift situation where you're sitting in the dark and you're in the middle of a civil war, you know, Vienna sausage tastes pretty daggone good, right? <laughs> Tuna, uh, canned chicken, things like that. Um the meats, I would also throw in like the Chef Boardy stuff. It's really cheap, especially the store brand. You can do spaghetti, meatballs, ravioli, stuff like that. Um, can't go wrong with the dry bag stuff. If you guys have an Amish community nearby, which we do, they actually sell the 50 pound bags uh, for you know the rice and the beans normally, and it's very reasonably priced. And so you can put a couple of those away as well. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. If you guys can think of anything else, like if you are preppers and you've been prepping for a while, uh, feel free to leave in the comments. You guys have been commenting quite a bit and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, but you can comment and let me know what you guys prep. You know, I'm not perfect at this. I've been doing it for several years, but maybe there's stuff that I'm missing, uh, food wise. Um, or maybe you have something, you know, that you like to prep and, uh, I'll look into it, <laughs> but anyway, man, we're about five weeks away. You know, I'm, this isn't to scare people here on YouTube. I'm not trying to frighten people. Um, if you handle your business now, you really don't have anything to fear. You just need to stay away from the hot spots and kind of ride it out and see what comes next. Aren't you glad you're a prepper? For those of you who have been prepping for a while. And those who are just getting into the idea of prepping. 
maybe you're just waking up and you're realizing, uh oh, <laughs> things aren't going back to normal anytime soon. Aren't you glad you're here? Uh, thank you. If you have not liked and subscribed the videos, please do that. I'm going to try and post a video every three to four days. Uh, I do it late at night. It's the only time I get to do it. But I enjoy doing it. I want to help people. I truly do. Um, you know, I don't know about setting up a Patreon. I'll have to get somebody to look into that. I'm not a tech genius. But again, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support me, feel free. I'm going to leave the PayPal link. You're not obligated to do so. And I also encourage you to seek out other prepping websites. Again, I'll do a video. Um, Bear Independent. This is just off the top of my head. Bear Independent. MD Creek Moore is awesome. Uh, Prepper Nurse One and The Prepared Mind are some of my favorites. So find those folks on YouTube. And uh, man, aren't you glad you're a prepper? God bless. Yeah.